What is going on, everybody? We're back on it, Code Geass, Season 2, Episode 12. Um, kind of came off of really intense couple episodes there with the whole Chinese Federation um, debacle, uh, coup uprising revolution, capture the Empress, wanting to kill the Empress, Knights of the Round, uh, Lelouch stand-in imposter, just a bunch going on. So I wouldn't be surprised if we have a couple cool-down episodes here um, for the next, like, two or three. Hopefully the cool-down, but if the cool-down episodes can include some kind of, what I've been saying, C2 or V2 or Emperor knowledge, backstory, background, then it wouldn't be too bad. I think I had two of you, or maybe three of you, tell me that this episode, I think you were referring to this episode, I don't think you were referring to what we're watching tomorrow in Hunter Hunter episode 116. Um, that this episode, season 12, I mean season 2 episode 12 is the worst episode of the entire anime, both two seasons put together. Um, just by the opening, um, I didn't record it, there wasn't anything crazy. Suzaku, not Suzaku, what's her name? Sayako. Scheduled like 30 different dates with 30 different girls, kissed Shirley, kind of just a bunch of stuff that holds no weight to what the real issues are here. We had the Knights of the Round, Knights of the Seven, whatever you refer to them as. I don't know if all of them or just half of them. Looks like they have enrolled in Ashford Academy. Why? I don't know. I think it just is for story purposes. Um, and then they're also part of the Student Council. So I don't know if this will make them grow relationships with Lelouch. And then when it comes time, Lelouch will get hesitant when it comes time to needing to go through them or kill them. And if they'll end up finding information about him through this, or maybe this gives some information that can help him later down the line. We'll find out and see. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Let's see what the episode has in store. We're right at the title screen, turn 12, like we always do, with 20 minutes and 42 seconds remaining, pressing play right now. Uh, here we go. Um, Patreon, you guys should be seeing this on the 21st, November. Three different dates. She was way too nice. Rolla was right. And then he went all the way to the Chinese Federation. Jesus. And he said he was only afforded three hours of sleep. I hate Anya. Now Shirley's going to hear him. Oh my god. What he needs to do is have Sayako split some of these dates up. She needs to... She, Sayako needs to take some of this load off. She scheduled all the dates. Why don't you do half of them? All right, Shirley, calm down, girl.
And if you, yep, and the girls will get the. What the hell? Yeah, I can already see how this episode's going. They're going to take out the entire Chinese Federation. The Emperor said to eliminate all of them. Is the EU the other third world power? No one's answered that for me yet. So is it the Britannians, Chinese Federation, and the EU? they're planning to take out so the Chinese Federation are going to have to back with the Black Knights and get it going the Knight of One he's the Knight of the Empire he the one with the missing eye he is okay you start getting introduced to some of these characters here. We're running out of episodes, so. And here we are with, um, they're trying to perfect Orange Boy. Is this a flashback? She's dead, right? Or did we just... Did we just wipe her memory? I thought Cornelia died. Huh. We just wipe her memory and let her go on and do her thing? Oh yeah, they still have Colin captured and the piece of equipment. Psycho needs to take some of these dates. Oh, she is going to play stand-in. Hopefully this will be the one of the few slice of life episodes we get. It's our last time as student council president. They're about to fluff her up. Jesus, it's about to get reckless.
Revel, chill, bro. Oh, God. Oh, shit. They've got guns, cannons, nets. What is she going to say? What? Everyone's gonna get go off the the whole school's gonna be going for him. Rolo got their asses. How long does it hold? I for, I forgot the we haven't gotten a Rolo in a long time. I forgot how long his thing lasts for. Look at the range on that thing. God, Rolo's a real one. Okay, that girl has a concussion. He just covered the entire school with that geos. Dang. Okay. She doesn't even look the same. Somebody's going to get his ass. Oh, God. Got her ass. That's easy. Or girl. And they're going to keep giving away his permission, his position? Oh, shit. Tiger. I don't know what that technology the technology that is. God, I love me some Rolo. The Psycho is a, like, underground trained ninja family? What the hell is this shit? Oh, this reminds me of them looking for that cat again. Just different story, same premise. Uh-oh. Uh, she's looking for him. That's cheating. Oh my god, they're gonna have flipping the half the school out. I mean, half half the dang knights of the round out there. 
Oh god, the school's gonna be a lockdown. Just can't take it inside. Oh no. But to say, Shirley, what are you doing, girl? He's gonna come up and she's gonna be there. She's gonna see a third heat source coming up from above. Anya, she got to work on her her personal skills. Jesus Christ, Shirley, take it easy. I'm not expecting there to be any big threat this episode, so I don't think she's going to, like, stab him or slit his throat or anything like that. I thought Cornelia was dead. I didn't know she had just been geossed and shoot on her way, but what was she geossed about? Because she still remembers her... She still remembered Bartley and a couple other things, so... Hmm. Anya did see there were two Lelouches, though. Maybe she thinks she's seeing things, though. What the fuck? How did Psycho do that and then... You really got knights just circling the school. Revel, Revel, just go for it, man. She's gone. Pizza Hut? Is this sponsored? Is this video sponsored by Pizza Hut? Hashtag not a sponsor? Oh, she caught off the engagement. She likes him anyway. She's really out there just standing out there, isn't it? Nina. Gosh, there's a couple of characters that I that need to get taken out. Nina's at the top of the list. As well as Anya. Suzaku. Um Orange Boy. What? 
Geos Canceller can destroy all types of Geos power. So anybody that he hits with it is going to be put back to how they were before. So she's going to remember everything. Oh, uh, shit. She does. She get, We saw her in front of the Emperor. We saw everything. Oh, uh, shit. Oh, uh, shit. Finally got a happy ending with Shirley, and we just piss it all away. Great times. Great times. What I would hope is she doesn't go running to, like, Suzaku or somebody, and she just approaches, approaches Lelouch about it. They talk about it, and then he, they start to figure out, oh, well, how did this happen? He needs to die. Um, Orange boy. Lord uh, Jeremiah. Hopefully he will. So he is a Geos Canceller. If you've been put any under the... But here's the thing, though. It would only work on things like of the mind, like of what the Emperor and Lelouch have. If Rolo does his, does what he needs to do and deactivates it, his Geos Canceller, it doesn't hold... It's not going to do anything because I accomplished what I need to. What are you going to do? Reverse... It's not like he reverses time or makes time... I mean, if he used it when Rolo was using it at the exact same time, yeah, but Rolo's won't fall under his, which is good. Um, but Rolo's doesn't have that lasting effect. Lasting effect, he could kill you while he has it activated, but it's not a mind thing or it's going to make you follow orders. Um, is there anybody really big besides Shirley that's been hit with the Gios that would like really be detrimental if it got erased? Um, everybody at Ashford Academy. Um, but why would they take it there? Why would they erase Lelouch's? Because isn't wasn't it under the Emperor that they put that down? So why would they go against the Emperor's wishes unless the Emperor answers to V2? Those are kind of the only questions. Everything else in the episode is what it is. Blah, blah, blah. Nothing worth discussing. But that ending there, where does Lord Jeremiah's Gios Eraser or Canceller come into place down the storyline? I could see where Lelouch hits somebody with a command and they're about to follow it through days later and right when he gets there, it gets cancelled and could just mess up like everything he sets in motion because a lot of things he's done has been set because he's given command workers or people that control gateways or doorways or the switches, he's given them commands. Maybe right when it's about to happen, it gets cancelled. So we'll see how all that goes. Should be solid, but I mean, not really much to discuss there. It actually wasn't terrible. I enjoyed that a lot more than us chasing around that cat in some of the other episodes that we had. Um, but a lot of recycled premises, how we had like them making the pizza and then the pizza again this season, them chasing around the cat, them chasing around Lelouch, but nothing too crazy. That one, I could actually sit through that. That wasn't too bad. Um, but the ending, the ending definitely helped like take that episode up a notch. We'll see what Lord, Lord Jeremiah's erasing quirk has to play. And then Sayako's amazing. I wonder if we'll see more of her. If she'll die protecting Lelouch or somebody like that. Um, and then I didn't know Cornelia was alive, so was she just given a Gios command and then went about her way after she kind of healed? But what does she remember and what does she not remember? Because she remembers Yuffie and her legacy and wants to, like, rewrite it. She remembers um, Bartley, so what does she know and what does she not know? And why doesn't she just go return to, like, where she could be of use with Schneisel and um, everybody else? We'll see. You guys let me know. You should see this on Thursday. I'll catch you guys Saturday with um, My Hero Academia. Like, share, favorite, subscribe, and as always...